Hello and good morning, everybody. I am snowed in today. It is frigid, blustery, cold, windy. The snow's coming down. I'm loving every minute of it. So, we played some King DDD. Welcome back to Elden Ring. My name is Master Fong, and we're going through with my uh, absolute hammer unit. Hail to the king, baby. Today, we're, uh, we're doing shard nanigans. We're gonna probably kill three shard bearers in one stream because uh, I upgraded this hammer to plus 20. Uh, it's actually very easy to upgrade items in this game very early, which uh, I've mentioned before I really, really love. So this thing's probably gonna one-shot everything in these areas. So we should be able to just whip right through, no real issue. Man, souls vandalism never change. So to add a tiny little bit of challenge to myself, given that I'm going to destroy uh, most of these areas. Oh, can I only use that? Oh. Hmm. I thought I could use the Taunter's Tongue to trigger single player invasions. Hmm. We might have to just do, we we'll have to settle for jolly cooperation. Let's see, who do we have here? The Wandering Ronin. <laughs> That's not quite how you spell wandering, but uh, I, I think I know what you were going for. Come on in, Wandering Ronin. Join the king. Uh, if we play jolly cooperation with other people, we're likely to get invaded. And if that doesn't work, eh, maybe I'll try joining other people's games. Oh, hey, another person. The Wandering Rodan. Yahoo! All right, let's uh, let's get this guy in. Who's this guy? Zineb the Bad. Okay. Unable to summon. All right, how about Zineb the Bad? Are those two, well, I mean, it's not washing pole in this game, but I think those are two washing poles. Pea murder? Yeah, let's get pea murder. More people, more invasion chance, especially if I use the torture stuff. <laughs> we could get invaded twice. Why not? All right, we got Wandering Ronin and Pea Murder in our party. Let's go, boys! Castle 8's gonna take itself! I'm here to usurp all monarchanocanal authority, as is my just and holy right. Also, you guys have seen these areas before, and I'm willing to bet that most of these guys are just going to run ahead and murder all the enemies, so... We'll make things a little quicker. And maybe even a little spicier. It is... It is... There's so much snow outside, and I... I mean, I gotta admit, I've said it before, I love the snow. I love winter. I love all the seasons. But, uh, when... When there is snow, I'm a... I'm a happy man. So I said, let's do a morning Elden Ring stream. And maybe in the afternoon, after we get done making our big old pot of chicken soup, as is another wintry tradition. Oh, there's pea murder. <laughs> Smoosh. Where's Wandering Ronin? Up oh, there he is. Yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's make it spicy. Lure invaders? Yes, I wish to lure the invaders to my world. Let's get some invading going. We need an enemy here that can actually challenge us, given that everything else is, is going to die in one hit. Hell, the Crucible Knight's gonna die in one hit. I haven't been able to do a morning stream in a while, so I'm, uh, happy to be streaming early. Uh, trying to, you know, find new people, get them in the community, and just give, you know, my current community a chance to uh, watch some early streams, because I know most of them, they're in different time zones, different countries. 
Oh, well, that's all dead. Did nobody come down here until the axe wielder? Yep, they're clearing the way. Oh, cool! The commoner headband! Nice little circlet. I considered using the circlet for DDD's, like, pump, and I was gonna give him red hair, but it goes behind the head, or the hairstyles, like, cover the head, so it wasn't gonna work. That's okay. The Dupre Perfumer Scarf's giving me the, the look that I'm going for. Oh, he broke the statue. I like breaking the statue. <laughs> cool, man. Shut up. Yes, Wandering Ronin. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. I'll open the dog gate for you. We're going to be killing Godric today. We're going to be killing Renala and probably going to be killing Radagon, too. It's Shard Nanigans, baby. Jeez, I just realized I'm about to get my third brick hammer. They're probably gonna run upstairs and murder the banished knight, and you know, that's fine. That man's like, I'll kick him. Hey, good morning, Kiwi. Welcome to the stream. Doing more King DDD today. At least for right now. King DDD morning, because it's all snowy and I'm in a penguin mood. But. Uh, I should have just jumped. That was my fault. There's a good chance I might be starting something new this afternoon. Man, we used the Taunter's Tongue and we're still not invaded. That's actually kind of wild to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Wandering Ronin! No! What happened? Did he fall to his death? Did the banished knight kill him? We may never know. Uh, well, I don't see a banished knight in here, so... Something happened! So, there... There was a struggle! How you doing, Kiwi? You getting weather over in your neck of the woods? We're getting big weather today. Nice big old snowstorm hitting us all day. Got our pot out. Gonna make a massive pot of chicken soup. That's my exciting life. Snowstorm the other day? Okay, all yeah, right, our turn. I think P murder is already over here. Second, oh, yep, bye. Sorry, P murder. Remember me? I knew I had to go left or right, and I split the difference, which was jumping right into the pillar. Oh, dum 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 dum. Icy as hell outside. Yeah, we're we've got wind. 
It's honestly the wind that's causing the problem. The wind chill is freezing everything, and it's blowing snow all over the roads. No, no, no reason, no reason to get up. Keep your seat. Everything's fine. Ah! That hurts. Dude. Fuck off. They're mad. It's almost like they're trying to stop me from invading this castle. See about getting some new friends. All oh, right. Yeah, sorry. I neglected to care about you. See about getting new friends up at the Grace. Ember says, hi. They're at work, so they can't watch the stream. No, I, I, I figured. I know Ember's always working her toot off, making that bread, getting that bread by baking that bread. How was that not close enough? Get, get on the ground, sir. Hands behind your head. Maybe I should put the golden slam on. I can still make it heavy. All right, so instead of jumping to our death, there we go. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Because I died and Gostic's still alive, that motherfucker took like. Is it like takes like 20% of your runes? I didn't have a lot though. I had leveled up before coming here, so that's all right. Greedy little bitch boy can have him. Hey, look, people! I'm a lurk for a bit, need to open gifts. Ooh, gifts, that sounds nice. Enjoy your lurk. Come on in, Fulton, the water's fine. And who do we have here? Ooh, Aesir. Yes, come in, come in, Fulton, come in, Aesir. Join the pate. Invaders, come on in, invaders! Hello, boys! Welcome to the party! Very nice. Alright, we're gonna go murder us a Crusoe Daddy. Because I do love hunting Crusoe Daddies. Oh, this boy's using gravity magic. folks are going, but I'm going down here to face me a crucial dandy. You, uh, you enjoy your time. I gotta go have words with the big man and a plated armor who thinks he's hot shit. I'm gonna introduce him to the brick at the end of my stick. I've said it before, I'll say it to the end of time. I love fighting crucible knights. I don't know why. I wish there were more. I hope in future DLC there's just a slew of Crucible Knights. Like I want to, I want to fight the three knights at once. Now that that might be a hot take. That might be slightly controversial, and I might get some hate mail for that. Please direct all of your hate to my wife. Uh, I will link all of her social media and phone number and address in the description of the video. Come on, big boy! Oh, dude, this is not gonna end well for him. Uh-huh. And then... Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Nice, knocked me right out of the sky. Well, this fight's over. Boom! All right, aspect of the Crucible Horn. I actually wanted that. I think that shoulder ram is going to be pretty cool for this build. Uh, I just got to recall. Oh, ooh, 27 faith? That's a lot of faith investment. I'm a strong boy. I'm not meant to be doing religious things. 
I mean, I'm at least putting two faith in, or maybe even five, so I could get Flame Grant Me Strength and uh, Flame Cleanse Me. I put that on all my characters, because... Naboo shit, but... Okay, those guys are living their best lives out there. They're, they're having a gay old time. Murdering everything. There he is! Don't be a little bitch like that. Oh, 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 just clearing out some corpses. Can't just leave them about, you know. They'll start to pong, eh? Pong. Oh, it's my interesting. All right, goodbye, Gostuck. I hate you. I only keep you alive for your ancient dragon smithing stones. I'd murder them after if I could, but they put them in a. Special area next to Nefeli and Kenneth Heights, and then you can't hit them. Yep, yep, uh -huh, yep, this is dead, and that's dead. I bet they probably killed. That's, that's the one thing. I mean, I, I think it's been clear. Whenever I play. I stick close to the uh, host, like I don't just run off and murder everything because I don't know uh, what playthrough they're going through, if, if they're, exactly. you know, going through it for the first time, yes, or well, if they are just I'm taking tired. their time and doing what they want, want getting I'm things. Would you care to learn? As a fellow to I don't, uh, I, I don't think it is courteous to run ahead and murder everything. Because you think the host is taking too long. Like, you asked to be invited into their world, not the other way around. Uh, they must have already killed the grafted scion, I'm gonna say, which... Eh, it's not a big deal for me, personally. I've killed everything in this game more times than I can count. But for you, the viewer... I mean, I'm depriving you of the hot cunt that you've come to know and love. I realized the other day I haven't said that in forever, so... We're bringing it back! Yep, this is dead, and that is dead, and that's dead, and this is dead, this is dead, and that's dead, and I don't see the grafted scion. They're, they're really just murdering everything here. <sighs> Fine, what, yep, yeah, uh-huh. They're just, they're gonna go through the whole area, they're gonna sit at the boss gate, like, can we face the boss now? Unfortunately, they're going to have to wait for me to waddle my sweet ass there in my good time. Oh, I see they didn't come this way. You guys missed one. Stormcaller. Who gives me Stormcaller? Who did they just kill that gives me Stormcaller? Hell, I'm going to see a golden seed pop up on my screen. They're going to jump down and kill the ulcerated tree spirit. <laughs> Guys, you missed so many enemies! What were you doing? Oh, if they killed the troll though. Oh, there we go! Now we got invaded. Chaos Beholder! The Chaos Beholder. Although he's probably up by them, so I may never even see him. They're probably just gonna start wailing on him. Everything's dead. Maybe, maybe hi. Maybe summoning people was a bad idea. <laughs> Didn't kill the dogs. You couldn't be bothered to kill the dogs. Shortcut up. There we are. Hey, there's Azir. How you guys doing? You, you enjoying murdering everything? Did you kill the troll? Because I need him to, uh, to kick open the statue for me. I think Azir at least was like, oh, he's getting invaded. We should probably go stand by him. Stand by me, darling, darling, stand by me. Oh, stand by me. Oh. 
Wait, no, don't fall! Oh, good. Good. If I had lost that mushroom, I never would have... Never would have recovered. <laughs> Literally just cleared out the whole fucking castle. <laughs> That's going to be an interesting way to play this game. Just uh, call in some friends, sit there, let them kill everything, and move on to the next area. Like, that's, that's, that's my fun. Oh, my gentle Jesus. What have you done? You've committed war crimes. They're all dead. There was supposed to be a battalion here. They were guarding the front gates. Be still my beating heart. This poor invader, he's got to be running around like, where the heck are they? Oh. Nope. Nope, still them. You missed one! Guys are getting sloppy. I didn't bring you into my game so you could not kill every single thing and let me walk through. I mean, I am King Dedede, right? Oh, hey, it's Chaos Beholder, everybody! We found him. We found him. All right, let's do it. And he's running away. <laughs> I will say lately, there's been a lot of uh, interesting interactions with this game. I don't know what it is. People haven't been, like, actually PvPing. They've been coming in, naming themselves, like, Trinket Vendor. And they just drop items. You know, they give a little wave and a bow, and then they leave. Hey, a thing! All right, I think that's the third enemy I've killed this stream. How you guys doing? You guys fighting the Chaos Beholder? You guys having a good time? Y'all playing nice? I, I, I feel like I should apologize, guys. I, I didn't realize today was going to be Walking Simulator. We'll usually run down there to hide. Oh no, they're up there fighting the birds. I'd help them, but uh, well, I gotta do, I gotta do, you know, hot king shit. Yeah, I gotta roll through these spears and and pull this lever, you know. All right, where is he? <laughs> Why do I hear a sword swinging over here? That's the weirdest thing. Nope. Don't think so. All right, goodbye, Chaos Beholder. Sorry, I kept you waiting. I wamboed that poor person. Came right at him, wamboed him good and proper. This has you been like the. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. <laughs> It's a proud, proud warrior. Well tarnished, are you? I am yep. fellow. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly this grafting of is tainted the very Tainted if the winds calling me in battle. So okay, Nephi, kiss it. My boys are already up here doing what they do. Just just run ahead and kill everything. I feel like I should sit down and just watch them fight Godric. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to summon. I think I'm going to put my sign down to beast. Oh, they, they already killed the troll. Okay. And they're like, come on. Come on. Let's, let's go fight Godric. Let's go fight Godric now. Not happening, boys. Oh, there's a whole section of this castle we haven't quite yet. Oh, wait a minute. Stormcaller. That was probably the scarab. Yeah. Yeah, they killed the scarab.
boys killed the pots. Yep, killed the pots. They, sh <laughs> they just murdered the whole area. Guys, you got more runes for murdering everything that breathes in this castle than you're going to get for killing Godric. I, I hope that's apparent. I hope that I hope you know this. Maybe they're in it for the rune arcs. Did you guys kill the Banish Knight up here? No, you didn't. All right, my time to shine. Oh my God, that poor Banish Knight. He didn't deserve it. Gone too soon. Fly high, Mr. Banish Knight. Oh, clearly they didn't come this way. Uh, it's like it's like instinctual. It's like when beavers like see openings, they just instinctually start building dams. I could be level 5,000, and if I see a shiny smithing stone one on the ground, I'll be like, gotta pick it up. Gotta pick it up. Gotta go through the place. I 100% these games without meaning to. <sighs> without needing to. Still gotta go back and open the thing and get the rats and the black flame. We didn't even clear anybody out at the front gate or kill the lion. You guys think I'm just gonna leave stuff on the table? I take all of that stuff and the table. Fold that table up nicely, stick it in my pocket. It showed up, they're like, oh, he's in it for the long haul. All right, go down, start start killing all the bats and the rats. Go ahead, I'll wait up here. Hey, wait, do I need to activate that again? No, no, oh, they're still being lured, all right. So even though we murdered one, we can still get invaded again. I don't dabble in invasions much in this game. I should be readily apparent. Like, oh my god, he wants to go fight the ulcerated tree spirit. Damn right, I want to go fight the ulcerated tree spirit. That boy's got a golden acorn. They're just going to leave golden acorns on the table. Go, my peons, kill the rats. Who's that big one? All right, this guy. Is there one more hanging object? Nope. All right. Ooh. That was rude. Deleted. I mean, I am level 80 doing this with a plus 20 hammer, so... Yeah. Still would love to know why this thing is down here. All right, everyone, time to climb your favorite big ass ladder. Hmm. Well, it's taken us about 30 minutes, but we've just about cleared out Stormvale Castle. I did die once, that set us back. That, that was not a good split. I want to do a timer, like like a just just as 
a gimmicky as hell, not speedrun speedrun, but instead of like a computer timer, I just want a big ass ornate alarm clock just like right behind me ticking. It's like, all right guys, we're starting. Oh, that was weird. Good thing it didn't crash the game. So at least my camera's still going here. Well, oh, oh boy. Hey, look, <laughs> uh, Aesir and the other guy. Please know that was not intentional, and I'm sorry that I blue-balled you into not getting to fight Godric. That was clearly a network error. I didn't send you guys home. The game crashed. Or the network crashed. Or things crashed, and sorry. But thanks for killing everything for me. That was very sweet of you. Uh, let's see, we gotta do the rats, we gotta do the main gate. So it's probably best if I go upstairs, go across. Yeah, alright, well, it looks like we're going across the roof. Why not? Just clear it out. We've come this far. Who knows, maybe I'll even be able to summon them again. I don't think they have scheduled maintenance. Bulbous Toad! Like it? Like it? And Badger! Oh, unable to summon one of them. <laughs> this man has no pants! This man has no pants! Hey! All right, everything's dead, Bulbous. Uh, you're gonna be a little confused because everything is dead, but we didn't kill anything on the roof. So there's still a couple of banished knights that uh, need to be put in their place. Got to do some roof hopping shenanigans, kill some of the guys on the ballistas. The battlements, you understand. Yeah, that's right. The Vuvuzela is up. Two arms, boys. Two arms. Is there something all the way down here? No, it's just right here. And then... And that's how you prepare a Thanksgiving turkey. Pigeon, chicken, crow, whatever that was. Eagle? No, no it wasn't. Oh, I do have to come back here, so I will get- I'll get that item before I jump down. Again, is it important? Is it necessary? Vital? Is it even valuable? No. But I'm gonna take it. And I'll pick it up. You done. What have I been using my blue on? I guess I did a lot more... ...giant slams than I thought I did. Ah, too slow. <whistles> All right, let's top that off. Let's top that off. Just gotta go get one more. Oh no, bulbous toad! 
No, your hubris. No. Uh, you know, there's a lot of themes in the From games. A lot of, a lot of philosophical quandaries. Talks about corruption and putrefaction, the degradation of all things. How everything is destined to fade, extinguish. Oh, and now we're invaded by Bloody Finger Lilac. I tell ya. And Bloody Finger Lilacs return to their world, I tell ya. What is happening? What is happening? All right, what was I saying? Yeah, putrefaction, philosophical tenets, you know, everything is destined to fade. And along those uh, same lines of things to consider, to, to contemplate uh, in the from, you know, souls, Sekiro, demon souls, bloodborne universe, gravity, the all-powerful, all-knowing force of gravity, bringing the demise of many a champion, many a hero, some people nigh godhood, and yet gravity prevails. <laughs> Uh, yeah, everything's still dead here. Let's go clear off the rooftops. So I'm not sure why this section is here. This little drop-down area, it's, it doesn't really serve any purpose. Jeez, Elden Ring is just so easy, almost unplayable. I mean, all you need is a plus 20 hammer and suddenly everything's dead. I just don't get the appeal of this game. Wow, that guy took more than one hit. You know, I take it all back. Take it all back. There's a certain skill level required to play games like this. I understand now. All right, we're not going to go any further down there. We're going to try and take out these assholes because we have to loop around, open up the thing with the rats, and then take out everybody at the main gate. And then everybody will be dead. Everybody will be dead in all the land of Godric. In the land of Limgrave. Not a creature was stirring in the castle. Not even a very overlarge mouse. Oi! Thank you. Are, are you quite? Are you finished? No, you're just gonna, you're gonna keep going, huh? With the fire pots? With your cute little fire pots? There we go. Um, yep. And they're like, don't worry, if we fail, the, uh, the legion behind us in the main courtyard, they'll be sure to, uh, they'll be sure to take care of business. Oh, the legion's gone. What happened? I feel like we had, you know, two dozen men, good men, hardened old hands defending the area. Well, where, where did they go? Is this still active then? No, it's not. Oh, I was invaded because I summoned a phantom and he died, so that still counts. I'm learning things today. I've got well over 600 hours in this game and I'm still learning things. Yep. Oh. This is a pretty rancid pizza what you got here, Godric. I think he tried to graft the roast beef. It's interesting that they have God Slayer stuff in the castle and you also find that secondary corpse. Uh, yep, okay, that would loop around to where we killed the Banished Knights, we killed everything downstairs. Yeah, everything in the castle is dead. This castle is quiet. We just got these last few little ballista guys to take care of. And one very aggressive kitty over by the bridge. What are you squaring off on, bitch? If 
faster than a speeding hammer. More powerful than a swinging hammer. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, wait, it, it is a bird, because I think penguins are technically birds. It's King Dedede and his giant ass hammer. Coming over to crush it. Yeah, we're going to switch it up. When we go to the academy, uh, I'm going to put my sign down to be summoned. That way, you know, we can have some little side adventures. As opposed to two golden fingers showing up and murdering everything. And now here I am running around. Hey, look what I got my wife for Valentine's Day. It's not a holiday that we ardently celebrate. You know, we don't really care. Every day's Valentine's Day when you're in love, but... Kerbo Plush! Kerbo. It's so big and squishy! She's already used it as a pillow. All right, let me pull it back a little bit. There we go. Fun fact, uh, I think this actually is, like, Kirby's size. Like, he is eight inches tall, so... Squish. And that thing can punch holes through planets! <laughs> absorb the essence of literal gods and spit them back even more powerful than the original article. Usually, you know, when, when you copy things, it, it leads way to impurities. You know, as, as you copy something or mimic it, you can't, you can't replicate the true power of the genuine article. Kirby says, nah, fuck that, I made it better. <laughs> Oh, two little windstorm swords. Get out of here. Alright, I think that is every single enemy in this place. All that's left is Mr. Whiskers. Well, okay, you know, when I died, I ran through the cellar. I'm not gonna go kill them. I'm not, I'm not gonna go waste my time with that, but... Mr. Whiskers? Yeah, 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 go on, get it! Oh, I missed. Yeah, yeah, go on, get it! Watch this, I've been teaching Mr. Whiskers the trick. It's called Play Dead. Play Dead, Mr. Whiskers! Play Dead! Good boy! I know you don't normally teach cats tricks, but what can I say? I'm an innovator. I'm a disruptor. I question the status quo and spew insufferable amounts of bullshit. <laughs> All right, everything's dead. Let's make our way to Godric. Silence that SOB. I grabbed all the stuff. Maybe I'll summon uh, people just for the Godric fight, just cause, I don't know. There's no downside. I'm not getting less runes. I'll tell you what I am going to do, though. My plan today, I, I'm going to do something that I realized I don't believe I've done in this game across my 27 characters. I don't think I've ever faced Radon one-on-one. I always summon all of the, the, you know, the spirits to... I just, like, get their gestures and stuff, and, and I thought it was to advance quests, but I don't think you need to summon them to advance quests. So, I'm going to try just me and Radon, mono a mono. Yeah, I'll summon patches. I'll summon Patches. He'll help. He'll stick around. Other than getting that statue, which has smithing stones that I don't need because this hammer is at plus 20. Uh, yeah, there's Nefeli Liu. Oh, cool. We got enough seeds. Oh, my finger remedy is in effect. Meaning if there were to be summon signs, they will already be down. Here we are. Hey, 
Siakam! What is the cleansing light points option? Ember? Hey, Ember! Ratty, we're summoning Ember. That's for you. Uh, for your channel points. Oh, uh, cleansing light. That was something that, um, Monkfish suggested I add. Because the counters were getting a little messed up. Like, people were, were playing way too many and then losing points. And I haven't been able to redeem them, which is making me feel bad. Uh, the cleansing light is really expensive because essentially it just, it does exactly that. It cleanses all the debuffs. If I'm currently stupid, blind, unable to eat, all of that, it gets rid of them. And then it doesn't let any debuffs be played for, I forget what I made it, like five minutes or something. It's, uh, it's, it's, if you want to help me is, is essentially what cleansing light is for. If you just want to get rid of debuffs and... I might have to rework the whole thing. Uh, it seemed like great on paper when I came up with that idea. Using channel points to like mess me up in games and almost like... Uh, I mean, I will admit I was very like Yu-Gi-Oh card game biased with it. People could flip their trap cards and their counter trap cards. It hasn't been working that well though. It's kind of just been a lot of people slamming a lot of redemptions all at once. And <laughs> Contradicting each other, and I haven't been able to to give points back. All right, fuck it. We're taking Godric on alone. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this, guys. I'm sweating. I'm sweating a little. This is gonna who who Godric the Grafted. You huge top top ten Elden Ring bosses, in terms of difficulty. He's right behind Melania, only because she has Waterfowl. You give Godric Waterfowl, and suddenly he jumps to number one. There the true born heir. I do really want to know why there is a dragon here. O kindred, deliver me unto greater heights. Godric Zigzag, the Grand Vizier, is here. Well, I will say I love Godric's design just because of all the bosses. He seems almost the most human, which is fuck to say given his grafting status. But he does—he he literally Don't just looks me. like uh, just looks like a noble. Hey, like, and smashed a lot of animal parts together. I command thee. Kiwi, are you being I facetious or are you, you really? You, of all that is golden. You've never seen Godric the Grafted, the first shard bearer, the runt of the litter? Well, here you go, Kiwi, in all of his splendor. I, I'm really interested to see what a plus 20 brick hammer ow, nit, 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 does to him. You being for real, for real, no cap, all day 100? That's not so bad. Godric! Yup. Boom! Oh my god, broken that poise. Smacking that ass. Alright, so I might even be able to kill him, but I'm gonna let him get to his second phase so you can watch, Kiwi. Yeah, you didn't need that anyway. You got plenty of extra masturbators on your back there. Godric was a great first boss. Just a great design, great look. Really set up the tone of the game. Truest of dragons. Lend me thy strength. See, that's where my Mama Lasagna pun came from, Kiwi. Uh, he says that he's the lord of all that's golden, which is why whenever I play Mama, I say I'm the lord of all that is gluten. <laughs> oh, father's one and all! Yeah, no one's bearing witness, Godric. You can bear witness to this ass! Oh, here it comes! Here it comes! Yay! Godric the Crafted, everyone! Yay! Bastardo! That is golden. One day, we'll return together. Mm, uh huh, uh huh. No, sure, sure. Bathed in rays of gold. Yeah, I'll tell that. Alright, that is one great rune in the bank for today's shard nanigans. Let's move on to the Academy of Rhea Lukagwartz area. 
Go kick the shit out of McGonagall. <laughs> yeah, Godric, Godric's a great boss. And then, our favorite asshole Gostuk is here afterwards to, you know, get 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 his his say in. Excuse for a lord. Did I buy the? I didn't. To the bone, pushing me about like that, and after all that grafting. It's implied that he took this guy's arm for grafting. Me, would ya? Godric, you filthy slug. Feel it, feel it. Feel my bloody wrath. Whose boots has your head been stomping? Whose head has your boots been stomping? Yeah, I messed it up. Oh. Hello there. Hi there, you inbred piece of shit. This weasel was... Godric. Godric the Hammered. <laughs> he got what he bloody deserved thanks to you. Right, he's right. I do love Dedede's little face just peeking out. comes around, he had an ugly heart. An uglier countenance and met the ugliest of ends. Nah, it's still dripping off my hammer, I know. His end, that is. Yeah, this man is a thieving merchant. He doesn't have anything I need. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy, can I, mate? Yep, enjoy your life of. Servitude, I guess. Let's rev up this throne room. I like how he basically has like a uh, like a copy of the Elden Throne. Ah, victory! You know something I've been thinking about. There is tons of, you know, spec- Oh, okay, I, I have to say two things. Uh, I rethought what I said uh, during my last Elden Ring stream. I was opining and speculating on who was Torrent's former master and why were they able to summon spirits? Where did they get the spirit summoning bell from? These questions are boggling my noodle. Uh, yeah, so someone mentioned, like, it's probably Melina. It's, it's probably Lady, I'll act as your maiden, kindling Lady, America's daughter, etc. She, she was Torrent's former master. I don't know why. And I don't know why I didn't put, you know, that very simple fact together. But, okay, so that implies if she's Torrent's former master, then Melon is also the one who has the bell. And it's like, all right, so why does she have the power to summon spirits? A lot of people speculate she was the Glomide Queen. I don't know, not going to get into that. So I'd like to amend what I was talking about yesterday. I think it might actually be pretty obvious who Torrent's former master was. It's, it's the lady that helps us level up. <clears throat> now then, going forward in a different direction. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of videos have been made. Great lore videos, speculation, questions, things we want to see in DLC, things that we need answers to. Um... And I've, I've been exploring a vein of curiosity slightly less important, I guess you could say. I want to know where we're going to go to get to the DLC. Because typically in these From games, you go to an area that you've been to and like a portal opens up or something wonky happens. In the Ashes of Arendelle, you, uh, you find Uncle Gale in the Cathedral of the Deep, in the Cleansing Chapel, and he sucks you into the painting scrap. <clears throat> Afterwards, you take a statue, you can uh, teleport to the dreg heap. Um, in Dark Souls 1, you go to the waterfall and Manus's hand reaches through the time rift and pulls you into the land of old Uasil. Dark Souls 2, you go behind three of the bosses and you find shrines that teleport you to the areas, etc, etc, etc. My point is, I want to know where in this game we're going to go to go to the new areas. Uh, I have a few potentials. Um, the lava cave with the pots below the prison church town in the volcano. There is a very unique and ornate coffin. Uh, we might go into that. The other area is, I think, behind Mikola's cocoon in the Mogwin Dynasty. There's a bridge that's just broken off. And it's actually an area, too, that when you fight Moog, 
uh, gold smoke keeps you from going behind until you beat him. And when you go behind, you know, it's basically just like a large bridgeway that breaks off into nothingness. So I feel like one of those two areas might be used in teleporting us somewhere else. Uh, maybe we'll go somewhere down in the sewer? Like, it's all up in the air. There's a thousand potentials, and I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna pretend like I'm gonna get the answer right, Hello, but... My name is, if I might be so, would you donate Hello, hi, Jetta! Yes, I've got one of those fancy, funky-looking the grapes. You the there blessing. you go. Yes, blessings upon you as well, my sweet summer child. Uh, alright, so we gotta go to the academy next, but I don't have the glintstone key yet, so first we gotta go... <laughs> gotta go bonk a dragon! I mean, technically I don't have to kill the dragon. Technically I could just grab the key and... Grab the key and leave! Technically... I hate that he raises his head just enough. I'm gonna wail on those knees, I hope you don't mind. Bring your head down, put it on the table. Oh my god, I hate it. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> well, Torrent, Torrent kind of got his ass blasted there, but that's fine. Oh, you're firing more than one. Use the bitch. Counted? Are you kidding me? Oh, what, once again. Took Torrent out of the frying pan and straight into the fire. There we go. That's one nice in the face. There we go. Right across the chin. Alright, smile! Oh, here's the summoning statue. Sometimes the summoning statues are right next to Grace's and, you know, they're very easy to spot and easy to activate. Other times, they hide them in the middle of nowhere, around the corner, under a patch of dirt, and... It's like, no wonder I never get summoned to help people here. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you know what? Gotta take care of something right quick. Just give me one more. Forgot to murder the other dragon. I want to advance Yura's quest line so I can do the shit since I'm going to the bridge anyway. Hey, puppers! Hola! Oh, well hey, I done. did it! A best of God with your graphic. Yep, I did the things. Visit the table. Oh boy, visit the round table. Hold. That sounds fun. I want to do that. I to think I was actually going to go through the academy and kill Ranala before going back and being set upon the Tarnished's quest. Maybe I should do that too, since I'm already taking the time to finish this up. Oh, Agheel, Agheel the flame, come on down from on high. Hey, boys, what you doing? You hurt my horse, you bastard. Keep growling, keep growling. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mess up the tail. Okay, there we go. Whoop! Go right in the face. There we go. <laughs> Good fight, Akil. That's a fearsome dragon. Just like the stories of old. How you doing, puppers? What's new and exciting? Well, new is this character. I'm running through Elden Ring as King DDD. 
new and exciting. Uh, I am planning on doing a stream later tonight where I might be starting something new, you know, for my channel anyway, a new run through of something. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Unless I get very lazy, which is very possible. Uh, it's snowing out tonight, or tonight, it's snowing today, and it's amazing. Uh, loving the weather. We're all snowed in and cozy comfy, You're gonna make a nice big old pot of soup. Long ass week? Is this where I say it's only Wednesday? I feel that though. I mean, I think everybody who's worked for a miserable living knows that feeling. There are some weeks that are just, ugh. We're making uh, chicken and lemon orzo soup. It is our speciality. We got a massive pot. It's almost as big as Alexander himself. We get that going. Bubbling and troubling. Putting some carrots, potatoes, celery. Get it all seasoned to perfection. Hi, Enya. I am Enya. I love Enya. She's got such sass. I interpret the words of the fingers. She's like a desiccated spider's egg. You know, she, she's like an empty cobweb-filled husk, and yet she's just got... She's got such sass. You shall bear. Let their wisdom wash over you. Are you that new tarnish? Uh... Yes? Edya, we Edya, we just spoke. I interpret the words of the fingers. Uh-huh. Are you Oh dear. Oh, oh, Edya's Edya's got some memory problems. She's an old gal. Oh, the fingers are trembling again. Great Elden Ring. Root of the golden <laughs> I'm just staring straight at her chest. Giver of grace, wellspring of all. Like, doesn't it just look like termites could crawl out of her eye sockets at any the moment? The corruption <laughs> of the order has taken its toll across the realm. Foul curse. But the yeah, misery curses. Uh huh. Tarnish, sharp baron, become the Elden Lord. Words of the fingers. Remembrance of gold. I will the finger. The children tainted by so great. What's that fear, old holes thing? She's an absolute nightmare. Oh, Enya's the best. Speak. The greater will has long renounced the demigod. And look at her jingle bell staff. Punished. Show no mercy. Have their heads taken the The demigods are each and all the direct offspring. Of Queen Marika, Godric uh -huh. the Graft. It was but a distant relation. The runt of. All right, don't care about any of that. Okay, my boy. I got an academy to get through. I got me some mages to bop. She's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I think I already read that comment, but uh, it's, it's hitting me again. Hey Gideon, compliment me. Then, just as promised, I bid you welcome. As a true member of the this haggard team, old man. I am known as Gideon Ofnir. Of the Bent Spine. I to stand before the Elden Ring and become Elden Lord. I am accumulating knowledge. Yeah, those are ears on his armor. He's got ears and eyes because he's all knowing. You now belong to a select group of Great, great design, Gideon. As such, <clears throat> I ask that you remain constant. Then, as your fellow, the inheritors, we of the Round Table, Godric the Grafted, Lord of Stormvale, he's dead. Radan, who fought Malaynay, he's gonna die. But Eventually, Morgoth, the grace given. Gotta and kill two others first. Gotta kill her too. Me. Yes, yes, I will. Okay, bye bye. Mm. Oh, I think Rajier is back here. Let me forward him. Uh, I apologize, son. Mm. A beat Godric whacked him with a hammer till he stopped moving. It was great. She might have no need to be polite. <laughs> the mission that is a sacred relic. It happened. Someone was, that was the maybe maybe the maybe, maybe we'll go to that corpse under Stormvale Castle. That could be another location and be sent into like 
a deathbed dream where we'll meet Godwin the Golden before he died and was corrupted. Ah, D is an old friend. We found ourselves. But our paths, though that's hot. All right, off we go to the academy. Now we stomped through the castle. The academy is going to be even shorter. The academy is actually very short. Which is good, you know, it has the potential to overstay its welcome, especially the cemetery beginning with the stupid blue zombie bitches. Let's sap you of your essence. Alright, so I pushed Yura along, so I should be able to help him here. Then I gotta go get all this, this these, these Johns. Man, someone was just obsessed with building massively tall bridges in this game. And I love them for it. Uh, up there it is. Let's take care of that. Yura, I'm coming to help. I'm coming, Yura. Europe, we're both red. Yes, are we the baddies? Now look at all the damage yours doing with his sword. Let's see what I can. Let's see if I can contribute. Uh oh. Oh, I can jump too. Look at my jumps. Yeah, big jumps. Squish. You're welcome, Yara. Ta -da -ta. Ta -da -da. All right, send me back. Take me back. Yours gonna be breathing hard, like, oh, what a fight! Oh, so challenging. Uh, oh, it's you. Thanks for your help there. This man is succumbing to madness. On my side. And now I'm finally rid of him. Here's a token of thanks. I may not. I'm dying to see you, Eleonora. Yeah, she is the dead lord in spite. If she comes, there is no shame. <laughs> Run away. Run away from Eleonora. She's too powerful. She's too good for you to take on. Me, wiping Eleonora's face off my hammer. What were you saying, Yura? Something about something? Sorry, I have got brain all over my hammer here. You see, there was, there was this absolute weak... Weak individual who tested me. <laughs> trypophobia? Oh, you mean the holes? Are we talking about Enya again? Yeah, trypophobia. It's definitely real. I mean, I guess that's stupid to say. I mean, not obviously phobia is real. I mean, like, I I have some form of it. It's not that I'm like afraid of holes, but I don't think that's what it is. Like, I physically, literally get a itchy tingle in my brain when I see, you know, sections of, of holes. Well, there's been an eight. How can I? Like, brain don't like. Sure, give me some of that. And, uh, nothing else here is tickling my fancy. Have a safe. Oh, I'm sorry, Puppers. Yeah, I completely missed uh, your question. What's that fear of holes? Sorry. <whistles> My turn! <whistles> All right, let's send out our message. Maybe we'll get some summoning going, help some people out. Big hammer go bonk. You'll have to kill the bloodline. Cannot leave even one bud of revenge to foster. We 
gonna go beat a bunch of book loving nerds with a giant hammer. <sighs> I love role playing. Dated he would be proud. Oh, it's such a pretty place. Man, Hogwarts Legacy is this is actually looking like a pretty good game here. I can't believe, and I absolutely can believe, but, you know, at the same time, I cannot believe the amount of controversy that game has created. And I guess I shouldn't even say the game, I should say that people created, because... Good God, nobody wants to fucking relax anymore. There's always gotta be something to get absolutely enraged over. Why, why do we enjoy that feeling? Just hating everything all the time. Hogwarts Legacy? Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan. So when I heard it was coming out, I... I was very just mild. Very tepid. I was like, okay, I can... I can become a wizard and do wizard things in the wizard world. And, eh. I can already do that. I've got a great wizard. His name's Papa Whispers. Maybe you've heard of him. But uh, I... I'm actually trying to think now. Betwixt and between uh, and betwaddle all of the controversy and the outrage and the uh, if you play it, you're the spawn of Satan and if you don't play it, you're a woke, soft, snowflake, liberal bullshit machine. Between all of that, I don't know if I've even heard if the game is any good or not. I've seen clips of it. I've seen a little bit of gameplay, but I, I don't know if I've gotten an overall assessment of, oh yeah, this game's fun, like, it's fun to build your character, it's fun to learn new spells, the, the, uh, exploring is really good. I, I can't say for certain if I've actually seen anything about the gameplay, because there's just a whirlwind of bullshit surrounding it. It's very Soulsy. I wouldn't necessarily call it Souls-like, but I think you'd get a kick out of it. And yeah, I can play it, can I? I think it's available for all platforms. I just, as I said, it's it's been a, a big old meh. The only game I've been excited for since the Dead Space remake is, you know, Resident Evil 4, and I'm, I'm waiting, I'm sitting here, playing Elden Ring for the 27,000th time. No, my manas! I need my manas. I don't know why I haven't gotten back into uh, Red Dead yet. I don't know what, what killed that momentum for me. Fallout 4, too. I mean, a lot of those games I started at the same time, and so it started to feel like a bit of an obligation. And I don't want that for this channel or for myself. I don't want to be like, well, I'm playing a game because I need to for some arbitrary reason. I want to enjoy what I'm playing. And so when asked the other day by you guys, you know, what I want, well, right now I, I want to play Elden Ring. I have played it to infinity and beyond. I know just about everything there is to know. And yet, I still want to play Elden Ring. <laughs> Having said that, the winds of change are blowing. Hmm, if I am in a stream tonight, I'm gonna have to do it before your class though, aren't I? Because A, I am a loud, obscenity-riddled screamy boy, and B, she's gonna need the computer. Oh boy! Now that we're talking about Hogwarts, Legacy, it's just amazing to me the layers that people will build to maintain their position of outrage. Like, this is bad because of this person. Well, that person wasn't involved. Okay, well, it's bad because they still benefit from it. Well, yes, but so do the people that aren't related to that person that put a lot of time and work into making this thing. Okay, but their time and work... Uh, is all just grandstanding, and it's, it's, they're, they're false tokens, and they're disingenuous. I, I have to say personally, I think the outrage over that game and people playing it is completely misdirected. 
I mean, I can't say anything that hasn't been said a million times before already. If you're the type of person that will judge another human being's merit or worthiness around them playing a game that has very tenuous connections to someone who's a piece of shit, and yes, I'm talking about J.K. Rowling, the piece of shit, uh, you're, you're not doing it for the right reasons. You're, you're not getting outraged at these people and shaming them because you want to fight for the good cause or stand up for marginalized or oppressed groups or even just represent the, the better side of a misunderstood ideology. You're doing it because you are yourself a piece of shit who believes your moral superiority will somehow... Like, hey. it's, it's, it's all just grandstanding. And it's not just this game. I mean... You, you can be an extreme on any side of a situation. You can be an extreme for hate, and you can be an extreme for, you know, understanding and compassion. Oh! We got invaded, and now we can't access the boss fight because we got invaded. You're standing between us and a boss fight that I myself am gonna have later today. Ioba? I know very little about Elden Ring, to be honest, so I find this very interesting. Oh, that's good. Hey, I'm glad you're enjoying this, Kiwi. I mean, I hope everybody does. All right, we're going in. We're going in hard. Go hard and fast. Oh, my God. Later. All right, let's go fight General Radon. <laughs> One big smack and a little bit of a slice. Like, you know, the old, the old uh, saying or thought is that, you know, the seven deadly sins and the, the sin that is the worst of the seven that all other sins stem from is pride. And I absolutely believe that, because pride has corrupted so much, so many causes, so, so many, you know, just concerns, so many movements started to fight oppression and stand for, you know, just the betterment of humanity and the, the, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the betterment of humanity. They, they have all been corrupted by pride. Like, if tomorrow, all the racists and bigots and misogynists disappeared from the world, or, or just saw the error of their ways and changed and said, you know what? Like, yeah, this was all wrong. We're gonna do better. If, if reparations were made for the past atrocities of histories and, and civilizations, if all of that was gone tomorrow, and people were, were just dedicated to unity, peace, love, all of those things that these movements stand for, there would still be sects of people like, well, it's not good enough, or it's disingenuous, or I'm much more accepting and compassionate and understanding than you are. Like, it's just pride. It's the desire to be above it all, to be this. Oh, goodbye, host of fingers. Well, oh, it was fun while it lasted. It's individuals wanting to stand out and be heralded as amazing, divine, benevolent people and be acknowledged. It's, it's, it's wanting to be acknowledged and it's, it's all bullshit. I mean, it's definitely an individual thing, but you can also see it in corporations. But then again, corporations will latch on to absolutely anything because at the end of the day, money is all that matters. Like, whatever, whatever I see corporations talking about, and I don't know why I've gone off on these tangents, but we're here now, and, you know, when I started digging, I, I dig until I hit rock, so... When you see uh, big corporations talking about, you know, Gay Pride Month or Black History Month, or all of these causes that have good roots, that have, you know, genuine... Uh, you know, genuine origins and, and are for the right reasons, they're, 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 they're disingenuous. I mean, that's the word for it. They don't care about gay pride or black history, but they don't care about anything. 
If tomorrow America fell to another country, the biggest corporations in this country, McDonald's, Disney, Microsoft, all of them, the American flag would go down and the new leading flag, the new ruler would go up. Like, because it's just about following the money. It, it is a soulless pursuit. And so when they say things, you know, like, we're allies and we're listening, it's like, hey, you know how you're actually an ally to a cause, any cause? You just are. You just are an ally. You treat people as, as human, and you see them as human, and you understand and empathize with the human condition. You, you don't make a big fucking poster or paint BLM on a street. And that's not to say that gestures like that aren't completely, you know, pointless. I don't want to sound or come across as, as entirely cynical, like there's no point to any of it. I'm just saying, rec I mean, it's, it's one of the most often forget about messages in the Bible and probably every other religious text. The point of good deeds is not to be acknowledged. It is not to be seen. Good deeds should be done in the dark, where, where, you know, no one can see who did them, just that they occurred. The good deeds were done for the sake of betterment, not for the sake of grandstanding. All right, I think I've, I've milked the dead beaten horse enough on this topic. Let's, let's get back to Smacking nerds with a big hammer. What I'm trying to say is that I am better than all of you in every way, and you should be like me. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm just, I'm trying to say I'm the most humble. And if all of you were just a little bit more humble, like my, if you had humble humility, like my gigungus humbleness, you know, the world would be a better place. It's a sad, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Simple, simple message. Easy to understand. That checks out. <laughs> And all of that that I'm talking about, you know, uh, good causes getting hijacked by pride and... Because and oppression is real, absolutely. Evil and oppression is absolutely real, and it can only be combated by, you know, people actively fighting against it and challenging it. Like, all of that is legitimate. That, that is... That is absolutely legitimate. Um, but it all... it all kind of ties back to... That I, I truly believe that we as humans, we love black and white. We cannot stand gray. We do not like any room for discussion or, or like, like intricate discussion. We, we need things to be certain. 100% black, white, left, right, red, blue. There is only one. There is no in between. There, there is no exception. And that's wrong. I mean, that's just wrong on its face. Like everything in life from the spiritual and metaphysical down to physics and science and nature is gray. There are things we don't understand that don't act the way other things should act. There's actually very few laws of physics, I believe. Like there's a lot of theories, but... <laughs> There, 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 there are a few laws, a few things that were like, okay, no matter what, this is going to be certain 100% of the time. But there's always an exception to a rule. There's always, you know, other things that need to be considered. There is no black and white cut and dry issue. Aside from maybe life and death. You know, there, there, there's no in between there. You're either living or you're dead. <laughs> And there's no coming back from death. To my knowledge, nothing has ever come back from death. Death's pretty final. Bonk! They call me the Jaw Poacher. Nerd! Nerd! Get back to your book read, swing your little- Try to headbutt- You want to headbutt the hammer? Swing your little stick, nerd! Um, so along that same vein of, you know, wanting things to be black and white, wanting it to be yes or no, you are either an ally or you're a sexist, bigoted, homosexual, racist, like, like, no room for interpretation. And, and the biggest thing there is that when you live the life like that, black and white, you know, the, the extreme side of cancel culture, there's no room for forgiveness. 
And, and I understand it. I understand the frustration because the evil side will typically try to hijack forgiveness and be like, oh, well, uh, why can't we forgive them? Oh, they made a mistake. They shot 30 people in cold blood. <laughs> you don't forgive that. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. My, my, oh, sorry. You look, you look weary. No. I'm okay. Guys, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm opining today, I don't know, y'all, y'all got me philosophical. Maybe it's because we're in the academy, and I'm feeling my brain swell, the neurons are firing. I can't promise that they'll fire correctly, but they're firing. So, let me, let me finish that point, since I do love to, uh, to in inflate and drone on. Uh, with the idea that, you know, everybody wants things to be black and white, it's, uh, it's like that because it's easy. It, it takes, it takes less effort to go online, make a big post saying, I am an ally and I am a safe space, and just immediately call anybody else out that even, even deigns to sniff in your general direction in a way that you can interpret to be going against, you know, your message. It's, it's very easy to just be like, oh, you're this, you're bad, you're the problem, I'm not gonna listen to anything you say, you are invalid. I mean, literally, easy. It takes no effort to do that, and that's why people gravitate to it. It's much easier to put zero effort and feel like you've done this massive thing to help a large group of oppressed people than actually put in the time and the effort to learn, gather experiences, knowledge, better yourself, Laziness and pride. That, uh, that, that's, that's the, the root of most problems these days. Laziness, pride. And I think maybe that's just from the side of, like, social, social reform, social progress. Um, the other side of the coin's greed. Just raw, evil greed. <laughs> just the desire to own everything for the sake of owning everything and giving nothing to anybody else because they didn't work for it. They, they don't deserve what I have. Welcome to Philosophy Lessons with Fog. I like the uh, alliteration there. All right, there we go. I've talked my way through about half of the academy, so. Oh, shit, I'm still wearing this. I gotta put this back on. All right, here comes one of my most hated bosses in this whole stupid game that I love. I hate this wolf. I hate I hate everything about this boss, especially when you're a slow strength user. I'm gonna try and maybe get some guard counters going. All right, I do like that I can do half health to it, but whammo, whoppo! It's just trade. See, I ugh. oh my god, is that it? Okay, no. We got we got a reprieve. Oh, I dodged that. Oh, you best believe. Rest assured, I dodged that. Oh, damn it. Oh, my God, and I was short. Yay! Oh. I was going out odds even there. Like, 70% chance I was going to die. I was just going to whiff it. Because I get so impatient with that stupid fucking fox. Stupid red wolf fox hound bullshit machine. Got a level in me? Oh, I've got several levels in me. All right, let's put a. Let's see, that's two, two. Yeah, it's only going up to two now, so we'll do that. We'll get vigor up to 35. Then we'll probably get endurance up to 25. See, you know, that's why I've always loved games. And you can judge the hell out of me for what I'm about to say. Games have always allowed me to explore the concepts of pure evil, raw greed. Abject, uh, not masochism, abject sadism, just being the wrongest possible version of myself that I could be. And it's because there are no real physical, literal consequences. I'm not actually ever hurting anyone. I am not causing grief, despair, any form of real negative emotion, influence, or impact. So I can explore these concepts in my warped curiosity, purely because there is no real effect. The fact that people can actually be evil and choose to be 
terrible fucking people in a real in, in our real world with real long-term lasting permanent consequences like it, it baffles me Like this. These are these are little children pots. These are tiny little innocent children pots. And I'm like, squish! Ah! <laughs> Look at the red pieces fly. Guts go burr. Ah! <laughs> There's a mother wailing at their child's demise right now. But none of it's real. Like I said, you can judge the hell out of me for that viewpoint. You fill me with grief and despair. Oh, puppers. Thank you. Oh. Knowing that I did my part to ruin somebody else's day, you know? It's all I need! Sometimes. It's all I need to get me through. Ow. 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 Asshole. Ow. Stop. Stop! Oh god, he's throwing the book at me! I'm not gonna do the uh, optional segment over there today. Just I, I find the rooftops really boring. I don't know why. Yeah, this section bores me, so I'm, I'm not gonna waste your or my time with that right now. We're gonna head straight up to the library. Kick that tits off of Ranala. Just smack those mammary glands until they're unrecognizable. Just pummel those pillows. Beat those boobies. Lambast those lactation devices. Maybe I should have said just lactators. Yeah. I'm such a greedy bastard in games. Yeah, I mean, why not? And I completely understand people that want to be the noble hero in games too. I get that. Me, I have always gravitated, and I truly believe because I... <laughs> Uh, me talking about pride, but here I go. I, I strive to be a good person in any way that I can in real life. I try and be generous. I try and be courteous. I try and, you know, listen, be empathetic at all times. It just seems like a very instinctual, like a natural thing. Like I said, you know, there's life and there's death. All we have is life. All we have is right now what we have. So why you would pursue selfishness or pain or misery or cynicism and that is not to say that I am you know the world's like forefront in optimism I've said it before I am a I am a pragmatic optimist I'll be the first to say this is bullshit and you should feel bad about it oh oh, oh god big hugs big hugs no oh, she just wanted a hug I didn't give consent Like, what's the first thing I said in Dying Light 2? I came in and I'm like, I want the city to burn. I want everybody to, to despair. Oh, and I've been giving Dying Light 2 a long, a long think. And I won't go into too much detail because my other streams, if you, hey, check out my YouTube channel, you can see my full Dying Light 2 playthrough and the inevitable decline and degradation of my enjoyment with that game. Um, I, I talked a lot about, you know, the problems and the things they did wrong, but one thing I'll say briefly the ending. Like, I don't think I fully expressed just how disappointing the ending was. After everything that happens, after all the decisions you make, after all the lives you change and the choices you make, the ending to that game is nothing more than, oh, your character leaves. It, he, he goes away. He, he reverts to how he was at the start of the game. He, go, he leaves the city. Like, that's the ending. He, he learns that the sister thing he was chasing was bullshit and that's that he goes like that is such a that is such a cop out it's it is barely thematic like, like there's no substance to that at all character go away like what was the point of even coming here then and of all the decisions you can make in that game you don't get to decide like I'll stay and help rebuild or 
you know, I'll leave and take a group of people with me to set out anew and find a new, like, <laughs> Dying Light 2, you, you grave disappointment. You stay in the closet where you belong, you've overstepped, no Christmas. See, see, Kiwi, I would argue that that's not even an open ending. To be like, he left and now it's a mystery of, of where he went or what he's doing. I don't even consider that an open ending. Like, the whole game was an open story, so to just be like, Oh, well, uh, things happened and he's gone now. Really? <laughs> and, and I looked up the other endings. Um, the only way that the endings change is that you either leave alone, you leave with Hakan, or you leave with Hakan and... Not Llewellyn, what's her name? Libation, uh, Lulu, Lulu Row, uh, what's her name? L Luan. Yeah, you just, it's either like you leave alone or you leave with other people. Ooh! <laughs> Dummy thick plot! All the DLC opportunities, all the sequels just lining up to be made! Moongrum? More like. Moongrum? Ha! Got it. I, I will never cease to, uh, to surprise myself with how I can spit out something that comes across as mildly coherent and even somewhat enlightening, and then turn right around and just plop a- just plop a perfectly round uh, turd just right out of my mouth. Just say something that has no meaning, no purpose, was never going to provide anything to anyone ever. Hi, <laughs> uh, what'd you say, hon? I'm built different. Didn't say I was built correctly, just that I was built different. Yeah, yeah, Luan, Kiwi. Luan! Luan! Luan, who had no fucking purpose in that story either. Luan is like, oh, I've got a hit list, and nothing happens. Luan, who's like, oh, I was experimented on too as a kid, and nothing happens. The, the, the subtitle of that game, the plot of the game is Dying Light 2, Nothing Happens. Like... Where is your god now? Just kidding, I'm standing right here, silly. Pee pee poo poo. <laughs> Dying light too. Pee pee poo poo. <laughs> oh my god, words have meaning. <laughs> Just cut to the, the scene of Tyrion vomiting his wine. Just words have meaning. Gah! It's like I expected the person next to him when he said it's like words have meaning. The person next to him is like, uh, unga, 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 bunga, unga, unga. It's like, yes, they do. Big meaning, lots of meaning, huge, fantastic meaning. <laughs> My words have the most meaning, believe me. Uh, yeah, that's it. Alright, let's fuck up Renala. Let's... Let's crack down. Let's find the nerdiest of nerds. So hey, since we're theorizing things, um... When it comes to Renala and Radagon, I've been thinking, Radagon is the sign of the Golden Order. He is the opposite of Merica. Merica defied the, the greater will and shattered the Elden Ring herself. She broke herself and laid every manner of scheme to try and overthrow the greater will and the Golden Order. Radagon is the opposite of that. Radagon tried to reforge the Elden Ring. Radagon believes 100% in the tenets of the Golden Order. He is the manifestation of the greater will's loyalty to itself. So why would he seek peace with Renala, and then ultimately left Renala, and went and consorted sired children with himself, Doppelganger America? We won't get into that part. 
I think that Radagon actually had malicious intent here. I think that he very purposefully left Renala and almost sort of lobotomized her. Renala was a mortal, was not part of the Golden Order, the, the Greater Will, but single-handedly raised an entire school, a knighthood, you know, a soldier, constabulary, whatever. Like, Renala was a threat to the Golden Order, outside of the Golden Order's own corruption and, and problems and, you know, dirty laundry at home. Renala was forming this entire civilization that was coming very close to being able to challenge and overthrow the Golden Order. And so I feel like Radagon went over like, hey, let's join our houses. We'll be stronger together. Wink. And then learned everything he basically could about the Carrion Sorcery and the Glintstone Secrets. And then like left her, gave her that, that unborn rune. And whether like directly or just indirectly through his actions, crippled her. Basically broke. Because think about it. What stopped the Carrion family from growing once he left, Ranala turned inward, became a vegetable, focused solely on her rune, her unborn child that would never come, sits up here in her tower, protected by Rani through illusion magic because she's, she's helpless. She can't do anything. She, she has no ambition. She has no desire. She's not teaching or leading her people anymore. The Carrion whole, the Carrion uh, royal family, everything is just in standstill. It's just, the soldiers are running around, the scholars are running around, they're they're trying to do stuff, but none of them were as good as Renala. She she was an absolute, you know, pioneer, uh, I don't know, savant the right word, uh, prodigy. And, you know, Radagon shows up, is like, let's join our houses, and then leaves her and basically breaks her. Her spirit, her will, her mind, whatever. So I think it was intentional. I think Radagon acting, again, because he is the scion of the Golden Order, I think he's like, oh, we got to shut this shit down. We, we got we to gotta infiltrate this uh, particular sect and, you know, learn what we can and then just snap. There we go. No more threat. That's what I believe. And I, that's what, one of the many reasons I love this game and why everybody does. Because you can come up with tangible theories like that. Even like logical theories like that. Just based around everything that happens in these games. And now I've got a little boy chewing on my feet. <laughs> You're supposed to look at him and be like, oh, that child's creepy. But then you see my big blue face and it's like, oh, well, I guess there's worse out there. Don't you tinkle your candles at me. I'll smack you with a hammer. I'll sit on your face and not in the inappropriate way. Hush, little Calva. Like she's literally in a dream state protected by Ronnie because anybody that walks up here I'll could just kill her. She wouldn't fight back. She doesn't fight back in this fight. She doesn't. Not once does Renala fight pure. back. She sits in her bubble. And the, the children, you know, do some things. And then when the bubble breaks, she doesn't even care. She starts to crawl to the egg, and then Ronnie's uh, spell takes hold. That's for biting my shoe! That's for thinking you could be in the London Symphonic Orchestra Choir, whatever, what have you. That's because I wanted to. Come on down, honey! Yeah, well, maybe one more? Come on, come on. Yeah, phase one down. Like, she doesn't even defend herself. There's nothing left to Renala. She is a, a shell. And this is someone who built an entire nation and discovered new secrets of magic and, you know, like... When I first played this, you know, like, I just thought, oh, she... she Brought up another spell, but th that's because I didn't no understand fear. all of the I will hold thee. the inner lore. Because Ronnie talks to you here. This is Ronnie. You will become plus born forever and ever. And Ronnie, being an Empyrean, I don't think the unborn rune was Ronnie's. We're still trying to figure out where her rune went. But she 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 loved her mother. Upon that's true enough. Ranala. 
raised Ronnie and was a good mother. Taught her many things. Ronnie loves her mother. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. I mean, just look at the fact that she uses the sp the spell she uses to protect her mother is an illusion of her mother in her prime. Send word far and wide. Back when her mother was a force to be reckoned with, before she lost her mind. Which never the would have happened queen of Caria, if Radagon didn't fuck things up. Me. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. Some could even argue that it was uh, Renala, not directly, but just through her teachings, telling Ronnie, you know, like, make your own destiny. Seek, uh, seek the moon, like, and that made Ronnie be like, yeah, you know what? Fuck the Golden Order. Look what it did to my mother. Look what it did to the land. I'm, I'm gonna use Serpent. Even calls her her dear daughter. Not weave the night, weave thy night, weave your night into being. <laughs> I was uh, so busy discussing lore, I didn't even realize that that fight was over. <laughs> about about three seconds. And then after you be finish the illusion, here she is again. She's the one that you don't kill, because she's not. A, she's never a threat. She talks to you about rebirth, but like. Come out, say I, or will ye be gravestones to be better born anew? I was also thinking this about this crown. The, uh, the crown is supposed to be the moon, but those two gems at the top almost make it look like a swan, right? It almost looks like, like, I would say like a mother goose. And, I mean, that's all she, she does. She sits here nesting with this egg. Maybe I'm looking way too much into the design, but I, I... From, you just, you outdo yourselves every single time. Hi, Renala. V. I wish to be born anew. To become a sweet... Nah, I was born perfect at birth. Thanks, though. All right, that is two shards down in our quest for shard nanigans. I'm going to head back here quick so I can get my third talisman pouch. Who are you watching, hon? Oh, that's fascinating. I had my doubts. Yeah, what? My, look at you. Look at you, Only huh? Once before. Have I seen two great runes together? Look there. The fingers shudder with exuberance. Gross. Fine work, brave tarnished. The greater will is pleased. The real question is why the greater will you doesn't have want you. The right to become Elden Lord. You, you get great now, runes, and then the greater will's the like, yeah, actually, no. You can't be the Lord. with Queen Malika. To become Elden I theorize Lord and restore the golden order. The fingers expect as take the Thank you. I, I theorize become. that the greater will sensed that you were growing strong enough to kill it. And so that's why it spurned you. Like the greater will I mean it's it le by example, it leads through puppets. Merica was its puppet, even though she resisted, and in the end, even though she shattered the ring, the Greater Will pinned her inside the tree and imprisoned her. Godfrey was Elden Lord, but he was Merica's puppet. Like, he was a great warrior, and he even sacrificed parts of himself to become more lordlike, but once all the enemies were more or less crushed, America cast him out. He was robbed of grace, and basically he, she's like, you're banished, you're tarnished now. Now, whether she did that or the Golden Order did it, the, the Greater Will, not sure. So I feel like, you know, at first, the Greater Will is like, hey, you did it. You killed two demigods, you got two runes. You're going to be powerful enough to be my next Elden Lord. But by the time you get to the capital and you're killing things left and right and picking up runes, I think the Golden Order is like, shit, you might be powerful enough to actually kill me. 
No, you're spurned. Nah, sorry. You can't be Elden Lord. Uh, I gotta go consult with, uh, with my finger bros. Be a couple thousand years, sorry. And that's when we commit heresy and blasphemy and we burn the tree down and we go in to the Greater Will's home and the Greater Will's like, Shit! <laughs> you, you, you found your way in here! Uh, Radagon? Radagon, Bubby! Since you are literally the manifestation of loyalty to myself, uh, t take him out, and then Radagon fails, and it's like, oh, god damn it, now I gotta manifest. And then we kill that, too, because the golden, the, the greater will is correct. We are strong enough to kill it. I, I really wonder, when it comes to the DLC, if we are going to not only get more info about the other outer gods, the Flame of Frenzy, the Fell God, the, uh, what is it, the, the, the mother, the blood mother, I forget her name, Mother of Truth. Um, whether or not we get more info on the outer gods, I wonder if we will actually also get to face them. If just like the Greater Will, we will face a manifestation of the actual outer god and kill more of them. Because technically... I believe you only slay one god in this game. When you beat the Elden Beast, it says God slain. Everything else is demigod, legend, great hero, etc. I'm hoping in the DLC we will see more god slain. I hope we will kill more gods. Hell, maybe even we'll awaken the Glomide Queen and, and the actual black god killing flame and more of that, etc, etc, what have you. Queen Marika is the vessel of the Elden Ring, carrier of its vision, a god in truth. But after the Elden Ring's shattering, she was imprisoned in the Erd Tree, a grim punishment. Like, she sought to break from the Despite greater will so much, she shattered herself. The fingers speak. Malika's trespass demanded a heavy sentence. But even in, but even in shackles, she remains she a god remains and the a vision's god vessel. And confer great runes to become Elden Lord. And, be and become a puppet. Bring the shattered runes back to Queen Marika and reforge her. Even though I've got her chained up and pinned to my tree, reforge her for me. Bring my full power back to me. I love this game. Oh, I love it. Uh, what should I put on here? Either the charge attack or... Wait a minute. I know I have... Oh, there it is. Yeah, probably the metal. Uh, all right. So we, uh, we're going to finish up today's stream when we're done. We're going to go straight there and we are going to smack him in the head. And I'm going to do it by myself. Because I'm a big boy. Yeah, I'm a big Elden Lord. I'm a penguin on the edge with a massive hammer. Not gonna summon the pot, not gonna summon Blythe. Not gonna summon anybody, except for Patches the Brave. We'll summon Patches the Bold. Yeah, you already gave your speech. Oh, interesting. Even though I already gave the speech. Yeah, and I went down there and activated the thing. That's why I was allowed to help that one host. I have to redo this. Hey. Are you good Oi. Festival? Yes, I'm ready. Oh, cool. We get to rewatch the cutscene. If anybody wants to watch this, it's short. So some interesting things about Radon I've noticed through time. Uh, at first I thought he was dragging tree sentinels. I realize now he's dragging clean rot knights, which is hilarious. He, 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 all Melania's clean rot knights. Like he's got three clean rot knights there missing arms and legs because he's just been gorging on them. Here's the thing about Radon that's interesting to me. He doesn't have legs. His feet are missing. The speculation here is that 
and it's probably more likely that the scarlet rot has rotted away his feet because just like Melania, anyone with rot your body parts start to fall off it, it's 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 been shown many times before Melania, uh millicent if you have rot you start to lose limbs but he didn't lose his arms it's just his feet other people have speculated that he lost his feet uh because he's been wandering for thousands of years so that he is dragging his feet on the ground and that the sand has been eroding them and shredding them away. And all that's left now is just, you know, the bones of his legs. I have a third and admittedly very unlikely theory that Radagon, sorry, not Radagon, that Radon is part Albinoric because if there's one thing we've seen with Albinoric specifically, it's that they're all destined to fade. Their legs fade. Their legs don't work. I don't know if Radon's legs are necessarily fading, but from a young age, he learned gravity sorcery to keep his, you know, so that he could ride his, his scrawny horse. But this man can keep the stars from moving. So it's not... I think, uh, unbelievable to, to think that he also keeps himself aloft. Like, if his legs don't work, he moves using gravity. He floats himself around using gravity magic. I don't think that's too out there. Uh, you know what? I'm probably not going to use the big sit with Radon. Nah, I'll use, I'll use the big sit. Now, I don't know how General Radon would be part Albinoric. That, uh... The only re The reason I think it makes no sense is because... You know, he's the son of Ranala and Radagon. And they, they had two other children, you know. Or three even, maybe. I forget exactly. And, and those children are, are normal. As far as normal goes for Empyreans, you know. Rikard was an Empyrean, Ronnie was an Empyrean. That, that's all the same. Nothing nothing big to speak of there. So why would just Radon have some type of Albinoric implication? Ow! Oh, 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 he's still following me. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, we're not dead. I didn't think those arrows were still following me. Mistake. I wanted to roll into him. Oh, I'm not dead. I'm still not dead. Nice. We got a wombo. Like, see, his 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 legs do look like they're they're like ashen white and falling apart. General Renan, I don't think you appreciate the gravity of this situation. Did he heal? I thought I got him below half. Here we go. Or not. Stop it! Stop it! His legs almost look white and ashy, so it's probably more that the rot is getting to him. There he goes. The arena's gonna turn to nighttime. He literally changes the time of day. I love that the moon comes out, like you can see the moon. Oh sh oh damn it! I didn't mean to summon finger maiden maiden Thumbelina. Go back home, Thumbelina. Ouch. Hang on, I, I need her to get I need her to get her ass beat. Go after Thumbelina. He really only 
only has eyes for me here. Oh, wait a sec, what am I doing? I have the power! Ah, ha, ha, ow. Oh, that's unfair! I was on the ground! Oh, he's doing it again! I didn't know he does it twice! Okay, this is a bat. Oh, I can't I can send her back! Fascinating! Hi, horsey! He's such a good horse! Scrawny Mag, best boy! One big ass blast! Damn! Damn! Fuck! No! Scrawny Mag! Well, unfortunately, I can't technically say that I did that by myself because I accidentally summoned Thumbelina! But, uh, we did it. And with Radon's passing, the stars may resume their natural whatever, something, whatever, fate, la 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 la, dark side. So it was a good fight, but he couldn't best the penguin with the big hammer. All right, well, guys, that's going to do it for me today. Two-hour stream, shardenanigans of King DDD. I hope you enjoyed uh, crushing uh, Godric. I hope you enjoyed bodying Ranala. And I hope you enjoyed an actually pretty even fight with Radon. Gonna talk to the boys here and get them moving. The glory of the and then a falling star. I can't father my was a living with. Glory of the clash! What clash, Blythe? You are a fine one. If it's on you are a fine one. Yeah, oh my god, thank you. Finally someone acknowledges my warrior -ness. I hope you guys have a good day. I might be doing another stream tonight. Uh, we'll see, because Chelsea has class and we gotta make our soup. But thank you so much for being here. As always, I really do, uh, I really do enjoy doing these streams for you guys as much as I do them for myself. My name is Master Fong. Check out my Twitch and YouTube. Consider giving me all those things people ask for: likes, follows, comments, subscriptions, zibbity bibbity bobbity bibbity. And uh, yeah, thank you for being here. Thank you, puppers. I'm glad you could show up. I'm glad I could do these a little bit early, and I'm glad you're here too, Kiwi. Stay warm out there, Kiwi, in Snowland. Oh yeah, we gonna we gonna have a good soup. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good rest of your day.